Hello and welcome everyone to the War Thunder game. My name is Iron Rifle and in today's video I will be flying like I did promise you last time the German tier 6 lineup that I did propose to you. Well, I just finished up recording this video, the the mission I just played a few minutes ago. And well, some of you may say, well, Iron, it's not the entire old shooter, this is the showcase of the whole lineup, because I do mostly fly the uh, Dornier 217J2 with some of the Dornier, uh, Dornier 217J1. Uh, I didn't get a chance to get into the BF-109 or the Henkels 112s or the MC-202 Folgor, uh, but still, if you do go some videos back in uh, in my library, you will find that I did play a mission in the MC-202 Folgor, and it was a pretty good mission. It was before they uh, added the uh, the 7.7 .7 they added. Well, before the tweaks to the uh, to this aircraft, and also I did flown with the HE112. I believe it was the B0 version, so the normal, not the premium version of the of this aircraft. Uh, but still, it is all here. Uh, it is all in my in my channel. So if you go back and uh, see the the other videos, you will find out that those aircrafts were already covered. So. Just let me know if you do want to see more uh, more of this uh, this lineup in action or any specific aircraft then you want me fly and get a good score in it uh, from the range I do currently have so anything from the up to tier 16 American tier 12 German almost tier 13 uh, tier 12 Russians tier 16 uh, British and tier 11 Japanese Air, Air Force if you do want to see any th any action of those uh, of those aircrafts from those tiers, let me know in the comment. I will make a video, uh, especially for you, uh, to show you how I fly the certain certain aircrafts. But that's a total option, and you don't have to do. Uh, well, I would much appreciate if you do leave any comments. Uh, so yeah, but let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go on with the battle. And um, yeah, let's let's see it. And I get myself into the uh, Alpine Meadows ground strike. I will start with my Dorniers, just to see if I can make any good of them. I will start off by, as usual, climbing up, getting some altitude. And seeing what's going on on the battlefield. So from the long range bombers we got the IL-4, the Wellington, H-111 and that would be it. So let's see, okay there's another door here. The Yak One. Okay, there's the Isle Four. Well, as much as I don't like going with the head to head passes with anyone, this Dornier isn't going for me, so it will be a very good target for me. And he is down. And right now I do have enough of the speed. Let me pull up the flaps. 
to go somewhere higher and to hunt down this HE-111. Now oh, the Avenger behind me. Okay, the HC is trying to dive. So I'm going to the dive after him. And there's also the IO-4 here, so... But the H-111 will be first. Okay, it's time for the reload. And that guy is down. Now for the Wellington. Or maybe the IL-4. Okay, I will go after the IL-4. And he did suffer the damage to the elevator. And he is down. So I can now regain some of the altitude. And probably going for the reload. Because I don't see any immediate threats here. I will circle around a bit. Okay, there's the P-39N. Do we have any more long-range bombers? The SU-2 and the S-79. Okay, the bow fighter. He did suffer damage to his engines. And he is down. So a good call. I can again retract my flaps. I keep forgetting about it. But well. It looks like I do have a bit of the damage to one of my engines, to my right engine. But it's another reason to land yet. Okay, the IL-2 and an herbal fighter. Okay, there is enough of our aircrafts here to help this guy. So I won't be interrupting their fan. Okay, Yak 19 in the air. But where is this S-79 hiding out? Okay, 
Okay, Typhoon is going down. Isle to here is going down. I'm sitting on four kills right now. A very good score. Okay, who to go after? DP thirty nine and probably. Okay, I will start extending my flaps right here. Okay, two guys on his tail, so I'm not needed here. Okay, aircraft destroyed. And crashed. Well, I should leave the uh, Spitfire alone here. But five kills with only one aircraft is more than enough. I will try out the other uh, Dornier 217. DJ one. Okay, there's Yak ninety lock free, so all the Russian fighters are here. Okay, our guys are taking care of those enemies in here okay that guy is going down the bow fighter is charging with the spitfire okay, I will focus on the bow fighter And the Spitfire is no more. So let me gain some more of the speed. Okay, I do see the SU2 in here and he is going for the for our ground targets probably. Okay, the Spitfire not He's not wanting to go with the head-to-head -head passes with me. So I will go after him first. Okay, I do need to regain some speed right now. And my tail gunners are trying to do something about him. But there is not much they can do. Okay, the P3. Will he be shut down or not? Now that's a very interesting question. And we are winning this game. So that means, well, how many one enemy ground targets left? 
And that's probably a pillbox right over there. It would be good if I do have any bombs in here. But unfortunately I don't have any bombs, so... Bad luck for me. I do need to go for enemy fighters and bombers. And not for the ground targets. And that was it. The first victory of the day. Well, let's see how well or how bad I did do in that game. Okay, five air kills with uh, one aircraft lost. I did also unlock some ammunition for uh, for the Dorniers. Uh, but let's see, 17,000 credits and 34,000 uh, experience. Well, it could be just a bit better. Uh, right here the only one guy that did get ahead of me got two more air kills and some of the good uh good ground kills so a credit to him valera zero one and credit goes to you but as you can see well let's see the exact post battle results in the terms of how much i did earn. well i do have the uh free repairs still for uh for this aircraft uh for the dorniers because well i did just recently uh, buy them, so a couple of free repairs is always something uh, something good. But as you can see, uh, 17,000 credits, well, maybe it's not that much, maybe it's, uh, well, maybe it's lacking a bit, but it's still a 17,000 minus the eventual repair cost I will get on this aircraft, it's uh, 1,400. So it would get to uh, 15,000 credits uh, for a very, very, uh, well, I would say easy mission, uh, an easy flying uh, with the with the Dornier 217J2, a very, very good aircraft. Uh, so guys, as as promised, that's the first video uh, coming from the uh, German uh, German Tier 6 lineup. And not to extend it for too long, uh, I do hope to see you all next time in my next video. Remember about liking the video if you like it. Remember about subscribing to my channel if you do like the uh, the idea of me flying and you do like uh, how I'm flying. Uh, but yeah, that would be it for today. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for tuning in. And I do hope to see you all next time. But until then, Iron Rifle out.